Okay, and we'll start with the ionic, um, the ionic brushes. Okay, you've got several. Uh, you've got two different designs on the ionic. Okay, this ionic was designed for terriers in mind. Okay, the nylon will get coat out. The ionic is going to leave a shine, smooth down coat on your jackets. If you have like a doby, a Boston Terrier, a Bully, where you want to bring out a sheen, get rid of dander, I would recommend the Boar Bristle because it's softer. You also have the Ionic that's going to give a sheen. Both of these products are better used if you use them with the Silk Spirits. And with the Silk Spirits, you just need a dab on it. And then you go in there with the brush and your dog's going to have a sheen. When you demo this on a dog, you want to make sure that you um, take the dog out in the sun so the customers can see it. On the, um, on the pin brushes, you've got your original, your original series pin brushes, and both of them come in oblong or oval. So your original series are usually uh, your lighter colored. Then you've got your second series. These are stainless steel pins. Your second series brush also has stainless pins, which is coated in gold, okay? Later on down the road, Chris came out with the ionic brush, or the fusion brush, excuse me. Fusion brush is made with brass pins, so as you're brushing through, you are not gonna create any unnecessary static electricity. All of his brushes are very well made. They're, uh, the pins are put in, and they're sewn and glued behind so the pins are less likely to push in. At all possible, you want to recommend the Fusion Brush to customers because it's just a better brush. You've got better longevity, you'll have better results. A lot of times, um, the customers are going to prefer the first and second series, especially the first because they're a little bit stiffer, which is fine. It goes with a better preference for the uh, customers. All the pin brushes come in 20, 20 millimeter, 27 millimeter. Your gold series and your original come in at 35 millimeter. The most generally used pin brush is a 20 millimeter pin until you get into your Collies, your Akitas, um, your Newfies, then you probably want a 27 millimeter pin. Um, if a Newfie customer comes in, don't even show them anything else but the Fusion 27 millimeter because that is the best results for that. Um, later on down the road, um, he came out with the wood pin brushes. Wood pin brushes come with a pocket and an oblong and a large oval. This brush has got a multitude of tasks that it can do. Um, the best selling feature on this is you will never get static electricity brushing with the uh, wood pin brush. They're all 20 millimeter pins which is fine. You, with the wood pin brush, you can get in there, you can get some undercoat out. Do I recommend that? No, I think I would go with the T brush if somebody really wanted to get undercoat out. Um, this is a great finishing brush. Um, when you have like setters, any kind of setters, your Gordon, your Irish, your English, Havanese, uh, Cavaliers, anything with a drop coat. I have poodles. I use this for breaking down hairspray because it's very kind to the hair. Okay, it's also going to bring natural oils out and with poodles, for instance, you use a lot of hairspray which is drying, so you're going to bring your natural oils out with that brush. Excellent, excellent tool. I'll go back to the tea brushes. Tea brushes are an undercoat rake. If you have a dog that needs that undercoat, um, i.e. poodles, um, akitas, you need to have that undercoat, do not, absolutely do not sell them a rake. Okay, the rakes come in 20 mil, or 16 millimeter and 27 millimeter. They're best used for, um, I would say, uh, your uh, German Shepherds, things like that, that you wanna get that coat. Pet people that are having a problem with uh, shedding, uh, Labradors, uh, you can get in there and get a 16 millimeter tea brush for them. Chalk brushes, pretty self-explanatory, very soft, very a very even application because of the softness of that uh, of that brush. Slickers, slickers can be a dangerous tool for just anybody, but the way that Chris has designed his slickers, 
the best selling tool that you can do on a slicker, especially Chris's, you can go like this. On the other slickers, you cannot do that. So the reason I do that is to show that the dog is not going to get hurt because I've seen slickers go in there and they've torn up a dog with them. He makes them in various sizes, various shapes. Um, basically, you want to find out what breed you're talking about and then um, veer them towards that. I find that I sell the Mark Threes mostly. This is for your largest breeds, your uh, standard poodles, Portuguese water dogs, they're, they're, out, they're on. Go with, going with the Mark II, which I don't see any out here. Mark II is a little bit smaller. That's going to go for all your other breeds, your toy poodles your Cavaliers, your um, uh, mini schnauzers, standard schnauzers. You've got the curved back. The curved backs are very popular with your standard schnauzers and your larger breeds.